The Panharmonium Mutating Spectral Resynthesizer by Bob Bliss is an incredible thing to say and also the newest module from Rosum Electro, Electro Music. Alright, this thing was shown off as Synthplex and honestly this thing just sounds amazing. I would show you some video and possibly some audio, but unfortunately my, my screen capture software has proceeded to shit the bed in a way that is quite annoying to fix, so I can't do that. But taking a look at this thing, as you can see, it's really complex and the basics of it are that you can input uh, an entire audio, anything from like a single instrument to an entire mix, and then this thing will tear it apart and allow you to modify the individual components and frequencies leading to some audio awesomeness. Seriously, check out some demos. I'm going to link some of the sound demos over in the show notes. This thing is just great. Coming at Moogfest, are they going to announce the Matriarch? Who knows? All right, so if you don't want, if you don't know, Moog has been getting into the Eurorack and semi-Eurorack, you know, you know, world for a while now. They have made the Mother 32, the drummer from another mother, and the grandmother, two of which were Eurorack module mountable. The grandmother is very much its own Eurorack thing, but it goes very well with other Eurorack components. And there has been a trademark for something called the Matriarch. We're not sure what it is. But hopefully it's another Eurorack mountable thing. Maybe it'll be some sort of even larger form of the grandmother. But I'm hoping for another Eurorack mountable thing. Because I really like my mother, 32, and my drummer from another mother. Maybe I'll do a video talking about those two by themselves. And speaking of other Moog news, the annual Moog giveaway they do for Moogfest is up and this is for a mini moog now if you don't know what a mini moog is it is an incredibly highly sought after synthesizer and this seems to be one that has been played by stevie wonder and has been signed with his thumbprints in brass so yeah this is probably going to be super collectible super you know It'll probably be the centerpiece of any studio, or you can, you know, sell it for big dollars. I know what I'm going to do if I get this thing. I kind of need the money. Hopefully, I, if I win it, you know, straight on eBay. I'm sorry, there's probably some synthesizer enthusiasts frothing at the mouth because of that, but hey, what can you do? In useful for Eurorack, but not quite news, we have the bird cord. This is... It seems to be a USB converter that lets you power things with your USB power bank. It seems to go from 16 volt to 18 volt and seems to be super useful if you have a lot of gear that doesn't have a USB power cord or like goes into wall sockets. And next, 1010 Music is making a desk box groove box sampler called the Black Box. Now if you don't know about 1010 Music, they make the box series of Eurorack modules is probably what they're most no well known for. These are a set of Eurorack modules that include utilities, effects, a synthesizer and sampler, and a even one that can control laser light shows and seem to be incredibly versatile, including the fact that you can actually literally just download the software for a different version and put it into yours. Like, let's say you can literally go to the website and for the price of free 99 get the firmware for the synth box, plug that into your toolbox, and now you have a synth box. Super consumer friendly, and they seem to be banking on the fact that all of these modules are so useful that you'll, you know, buy multiple of them to have all of them. And honestly, considering how useful these things are, I might actually go for this. Next up, we have the Impulse Command. This is made by Analog Synth Solutions, these are a company that makes analog synth gear. And they make their, I know about them because of their, they have a bunch of Eurorack compatible gear that is like meant to be like controllers and like sequencers that I've looked into and been really interested but have never pulled the trigger due to price. And this thing from the sound of it just sounds incredibly great and is purported to be incredibly usable with anything, whether it be, you know, a DAW, your standard controller, the machine ecosystem or modular synth it's put on there on the box and just this thing sounds great check out the sh show notes for some sound demos that i have located it, it just it sounds incredible and finally patch.cv is a documentary series talking about modular 
So I've taken a look at this series and I gotta say this thing sounds great. This is to be a six part series and the newest episode, episode four, Compose, has released in the past few days and it is wonderful. I really like this. I really just dig it. I love when people talk about modular and just so far this has been going great. It's so far, it seems to be running at 1 hour and 27 minutes, but as there's going to be two more episodes, that's probably going to increase to about, I'm thinking two hours is what it's looking like, a bit more. But just this thing, if you want to learn about, you know, modular and like, just see about it, it talks to, you know, the people who make modular music, the people who make the modular modules, and just, it talks about modular in a way that I fucking love, and it's great. Go check it out. All right, that's been this new this week in modular and modular adjacent stuff. My name has been Juan John John, and if you like this video, do all the things you normally do for a video you like so more people can see it. And if you really like it, check out my coffee where for a buck, where you can like donate from a buck or more, just like a one time or monthly to get my videos early and to get my thoughts on them. Or check out my Bandcamp where you get the same, except you also get to download my music. Alright, that's been me for the day. You all have a nice week. See you all next time. Goodbye.